Here with head coach Bobby Barbier. Demons wrapping up a seven-game homestand, a season-long last homestand of the season. A busy weekend coming up, graduation, the 25-year reunion of the 1994 team, senior day, and uh, yeah, oh, by the way, three three games that will probably go a long way into determining what happens in the next uh, three weeks with this baseball team coach. And uh, I guess it's always an emotional time going into senior weekend, but it also probably tempers some of that to have something to play for. Yeah, you know, you got to be able to separate it. You know, I think we talked about before when you play guys you know or, um, you know, the, the, no matter who you're playing, you know, you got to be able to separate, you know, competing on the field versus the other stuff around it. Um, graduation's huge. We've got a lot of seniors on this year's team. Um, senior day is going to be special for them. It's, uh, I think we've, we've thrown a senior every game, you know, started a senior every game but one this year. So we've, we, we've got our fair share. So uh, it'll be special for their families to come in. It'll be special for that 94 team to get back together and um, celebrate, you know, their championship they've won. A lot of guys that I know personally, guys that are good friends of mine, guys that have mentored me. Um, so it, it'll be nice to have all that. But we do have to separate it because we've got a good team coming in that we've got to play well. Well, you mentioned it when you look at the, the seniors and we kind of talk about that really before we get into the incarnate word and baseball always seems to be maybe a little different animal than a lot of sports because you can bring in seemingly more juco guys to your seniors against four year seniors you tend to blend classes it certainly looks like this group and maybe because of the success last year has really bonded as a senior group and hasn't really looked at oh we've got a lot of juco guys and very few four-year guys it seems like almost like they've been here a long time together yeah, and you got to have some tough skin, you know, I mean, because we, it, baseball is a kind of a juke, especially at our level, a junior college heavy um, sport. So you got guys that have been here for two years already and then getting somebody, somebody brand new in that's competing for spots against you, you know, but I think we've done a good job in the locker room. Um, guys have, have really come together, you know, you mentioned last year uh, with a bunch of new faces and, and having, you know, now spent, you know, almost two years with each other. So it's um, it's going to be a neat weekend. It, it really will. It'll be, you know, I think what I enjoy as much as anything from that weekend is seeing the guys that aren't seniors and how they react, you know, and how they, they cheer for their seniors and how they, you know, they, they appreciate. They show their appreciation for the guys that have come before them and the guys that, that have taught them. Well, we mentioned you mentioned the non-seniors, and obviously you have a, a handful of those from freshmen to juniors who have, have really played very well. Tyler Smith, I think, has won probably in the last two weeks, obviously the three-homer game at Arkansas, but he seems to have figured out, you know, hit, hit a really hot streak at the plate and kind of figured things out, and maybe his most consistent stretch of baseball, and I think it kind of goes along with what you're talking about with the maturity. Yeah. It, and even his outs, you know, are, are good swings, you know, and I think that's important for Tyler is that him and Coach Duga work on that swing a ton, you know, and I think he's he's really kind of bought in um, to, to stay in with it even through some some struggles and that, that he's had this year. So it's it's great to see. We talked, uh, I think, after last game about how talented he is and how can, he can affect the game in so many ways. So it's really good to have him come on late. Hopefully he can finish strong um, throughout the end couple of freshmen as we've talked about through the year Jeffrey Elkins and Hilton Brown and Hilton another guy that was riding high kind of hit a little low patch and then seemed to ride himself a little bit against Grambling a big three-run homer in the first game and then he's known as a bat first guy makes a great play to save the game defensively no doubt and it, our game is tough and our game it's the reason why our game people go on to do great things in business and um, and whatever in, in life outside of baseball because you have to be able to handle things. You got to be able to handle as a team struggling, coming back from it, playing well, playing through struggles, but also personally. And so a lot of times with young guys, you don't know what you're going to get when they struggle for the first time. And a lot of times in high school and junior high ball, they're always the best player growing up. So what happens when they struggle for the first time? I think Hilton has shown a very mature approach and Jeffrey also in handling those down times when you struggle um, and, and being able to come through it without pouting, without, you know, getting down themselves too much, without not playing hard, all the things that emotions those guys can go through. Both of those guys have done a really good job being mature enough to handle it, and you can see it them coming out the other side of their struggles. Look ahead to Incarnate Word now on the weekend, and this is a team that we saw basically this time last year, and they were – They'd improved greatly from the year before, and I think they seem to have taken another step this year. They're a game back of the conference lead with two weekends to go and done a really good job kind of building that program and really taking it up a notch very quickly. Yeah, they've done a great job. Um, they, 
I think they have two or three freshmen they hit the top of the lineup that are having tremendous years. So they, they took a team last year that made a bunch of improvements and they infused some young talented players in it um, that are really taken over, you know, and I know they got a catcher that's got 13 homers, you know, as a freshman, which is pretty special, and that's not a small part they play in. So uh, we got our we got our hands, you know, our hands full this weekend. But I, I think I think one thing you've seen about our team is that we're we're up for challenges. You know, I think we've um, we've we've shown that that when a challenge pre presents itself, that we'll come and fight for it. We, we probably need to do a little better job on the other end and, and, and be more consistent against everyone. But I think our team has shown that. So hopefully we um, we prepare well this week. You know, got finals, give them a little more extra time off this week. So hopefully we prepare well this week and, and have a good week of practice leading up to, to what will be a great weekend. It will be a great weekend at home where you guys are very comfortable and have been very good. And we've talked about it several times, sleeping in your own bed. I don't know what the formula is, but, but the Bistro has been very good to the Demons this year. It has, you know. I, I think uh, us and softball have done a really good job at home this year, and and you got to do that. You got to take care of your home field. Um, obviously, we'd like to play a little more consistently on the road. We don't get to play the conference tournament at home, so. Um, but it'll be, uh, you know, hopefully these next three will be good for us. All right, thanks, coach. Thank you.